Hi everyone, today I will show you how to configure a product swap, which is one of the most powerful and amazing functionalities in the Seal Subscriptions app. The so called product swaps allow you to swap one product with another product in your existing subscriptions. They also allow you to remove multiple products from subscriptions and add other products to the subscriptions. You can even use this functionality to create a subscription box where your customers receive a different product with each subscription renewal. The subscription boxes are something that is gaining in popularity in e-commerce and if you don't yet offer them, it might be worth considering them. Now, let's create one simple product swap. After you open the app, head over to the automations product swaps. To create a new product swap, just click on the create swap button. Let's set up a descriptive name which will help me recognize this product swap later. So I'm just coming over here to the product swap name field and I'm calling my one my first swap. Okay, so the first thing that we notice is that we have three available options which allow us to configure when we want to apply this product swap. The options that we have are when subscription gets created or renewed. This option will apply this swap on each subscription after it gets created and after a subsequent order is processed. This means that it will be applied after the customer is successfully charged within auto charging subscription or pays a subscription invoice within recurring invoices subscription. This option will apply the swap after we click the save button on existing subscriptions. This is useful if we want to apply the swap only once. For example, if we want to replace a product that is out of stock with a new product. A thing to note here is that if we later edit this swap and save it again, the system will apply it again. The system will apply it to subscriptions every time we save it. Here's the third option. Immediately on existing subscriptions and when subscription gets created or renewed. This is a combination of the first two options. It will apply the swap immediately after we save the swap and when the subscription gets created or renewed. The most used option is the first one and this is also the one we want to have in this tutorial. Now, if we turn on the next option called configure payment condition, an additional option will show up. This option allows us to apply the swap only after a specific payment, but we don't need this in our tutorial, so I will uncheck this. Okay, so a thing to know about product swaps is that the system finds the products in your subscriptions based on the product variant IDs. But variant IDs in Shopify can change if you remove the variant from the shop and then recreate it. If you tend to do this often, then the next option will help you here. The next option allows you to force the system to find the products in your subscriptions by product SKUs, stock keeping units. This means that even if you often recreate product variants in your shop, but keep them with the same SKUs, the product swap will still work for you if you turn on this option. This next card shows us the products we want to remove from our subscriptions. I will now select the product which I want to remove from my subscriptions. This product swap will look for all subscriptions with this product variant and remove it from them. And this is what we want to add to subscriptions. As I want to replace my bag of coffee product with my Robusta coffee product, I will select the latter product here.
Now we are almost completely set up. I will also turn on the option to apply the subscription discounts on products that will get added to the subscriptions. To turn this on, I just have to check this box in front of the apply discounts from subscription rules label. This will force the system to apply the discounts from my subscription rules when it adds this Robusta Coffee product to subscriptions. The discount will be taken from a subscription rule that contains this product and has the same interval as the subscription to which the product is being added to. One more thing to explain here is that if you want to pass the quantity from the removed product to the newly added product, just make sure that you remove only one product and add only one product. If you remove or add more than one product from the subscription, then the quantity won't be preserved. Okay, I will now save this product swap. Great, this is now saved. I can now see my product swap here. Now, let's complicate things a bit. Let's say I want to create a subscription box where the customer receives a different product each month. And once the customer gets to the last product, the cycle continues with the first product. In my case, I only have two products in my store, which means that I will create a subscription box with only two products, but you can create it for as many products as you want. So the first swap is already configured. The first product swap will swap bag of coffee product with Robusta coffee product. For easier understanding, let's say that the first product is called A and the second product is called B. Here is what I want to achieve. Customer buys product A as a subscription. The system applies the swap and changes the product A to product B. Next renewal will contain product B. This product swap is already configured. Subscription gets renewed with product B. The system applies the swap and changes product B with product A. Next interval will contain product A. This is the swap I still have to configure. Now let's configure the second product swap. So I'm going to click here, create product swap. Let's name this my second product swap. Now I will configure this swap almost the same as how I configured the first one. The only difference will be the products that are swapped. Okay, so here I have to set the system to remove the Robusta Coffee product from subscription. And here I have to set the system to add the bag of coffee back to the subscription. And now I'm going to save my product swap. And at the bottom of the screen, the little saved box flashed up, which let me know that it is saved. Let's jump back to product swaps so we can see both of them. All right, this is it. We have now created two product swaps, which will make sure that my customer received a different product in their subscription with each renewal. This is great if you want to offer your customers a subscription box functionality where product in their subscription changes with each renewal. And I think this is really amazing here as this functionality allows you to offer customers a very exciting subscription model which will keep them loyal to your shop. Let's recap. In this video, you learned how to configure a product swap in the Seal Subscriptions app and how to create multiple swaps for any kind of subscription box functionality. I hope that you liked the video and that it helped you clear any doubts you might have had. Now open the Seal Subscriptions app in your shop and configure your own product swap. Have a great day.